Hello everybody, how goes it? Rabbitsmore here, and this is a tutorial for an updated version of my automatic cow cooker. And my old one sometimes had a problem where the babies would get stuck in the top, or sometimes they would touch the lava when they came down, but this version fixes both of those things. So, to give a quick example of how this works, just go up top to where our breeding area is, I'll switch over to survival mode, hold down right click with my wheat until I have a couple bread up here, and the babies will get funneled out into our cooking chamber down here at the bottom. You can see some down here. And don't worry about what you see, the fire. The fire is actually the experience orbs, which sometimes catch on fire in here. But anyways, the babies come down here, and over time, they'll automatically grow up into adults. And once they do, they'll be tall enough to touch the lava, which will automatically cook them, and their leather and steak will drop down and be collected into our chest here. So you can just walk away once you're done breeding, and it will automatically cook them for you. You can just come back and grab them whenever. And if you ever have any stubborn adults standing behind the lava when you come back, you can push them forward with this piston and they'll get pushed into the lava. Although I've never really had to use this myself. So now that we've seen this in action and we know how it works, let's get into building it. All right, so real quick before we get into building this, let's take a look at the list of supplies that we're going to need. So a full stack of building blocks of whatever type that you want, 12 glass, bucket of water, a bucket of lava, one chest, two hoppers, two soul sand, one sign and a trap door, four redstone, one repeater, a sticky piston, and a button. Okay, so to start building this, I'm going to start by placing our collection chest. So I'm gonna pick a spot out here for that, break out a piece and place our chest. And then back behind that, I'm gonna break out two more pieces of grass, place a hopper going into the back of the chest and a hopper going into the back of this hopper here. Moving up, we're gonna place our two pieces of soul sand over our hoppers and place blocks on either side of this front piece of soul sand and two blocks on the back side there. Going up again, gonna place a sticky piston facing this direction with a piece of glass in front of it. And then we need blocks on both sides of the soul sand like this and a piece of glass in front of the soul sand. So place a block there and then break that one out. Moving on up, gonna place building blocks on top of all these blocks here and another piece of glass here. And then at this back block here, this is where our 3x3 area is going to start, where our cows are going to be. And you can do this going off to the left or the right. I'm going to be doing it to the left in this, this example. So this is the start of our 3x3 platform. I'm going to extend it over to this direction and over to this direction and then fill it in. And that is where our cows will be standing for this tutorial. So next what we're going to do is put our lava into our cooking chamber. So head up top here, place a sign next to the glass on the bottom there and back in this area here above the glass, and then place a lava in between the two signs so it doesn't move around, then immediately cover that up so you don't accidentally walk into the lava. And then next to this area here, dropping into our cooking chamber, we're gonna put blocks on either side, and then from this corner here, we can extend the wall all the way around this three by three area where the cows are going to be. And on this far corner here, on the opposite side of where the lava is, we can extend this by one, so that's where our water is going to be, and then continue bringing this wall all the way around until it completes up on this side here. It should look like this once you're done. Then going up one more layer, gonna place our trap door up above the lava here and then right click it so it's going straight down and that'll stop our baby cows from accidentally touching the lava as they go down. And then next to this trap door, surround it and cover the top. And then we can start by placing our glass for where our cows are going to be. So bring the glass out and over and we wanna leave the center area open for where our adult cows are going to be standing. So bring your glass around like this, leaving the center open. And on this far corner here is where our water is going to be. So go ahead and place that and it should stop because of the trap door and place a piece of glass over this as well. So the glass will stop our cows from suffocating as they go under. And then next, we're gonna place blocks all the way around our area where the adult cows are going to be so that they don't accidentally escape when they're swimming up and down here. And the next thing we need to do is just set up our redstone. All right, so hooking up our button is really easy. All we have to do is put our button in the bottom right corner here, go back behind it, place some redstone going back and around next to the piston here. And then right next to the piston, we have a repeater going into that bottom block. So now if we push the button, it should activate our piston and it would push any adult cows forward. All right, so your automatic cow cooker is good to go. The last thing you need to do is get your cows up into the top chamber. And you can do that by either creating a staircase out of blocks or out of stairs to get them up there. And you can use wheat to lead them up as they'll follow you up, or you can right click them with a lead and pull them up. But either way, once you have your cows up top, the easiest way to get them in is to build a corner like this here. 
and then just push the cows into that corner and they will fall down into your chamber here and then you can lock them up. Another quick note here in case you don't want to bring a whole bunch of adult cows up to the top and push them in, what you can do is close off the four sides where your cows are going to be standing in here so that the water doesn't push the babies out and then you can just bring two adult cows up into the top here and use this as a breeding chamber to get as many adults as you would want. And then once you have as many as you would want, you could break out the four sides here and the water would then take the babies into the cooking chamber there. So, and I would probably recommend about 20 adult cows for the setup so you have a good amount of babies coming out and leather and steak being produced in your automatic cooker. All right guys, well that's pretty much it for the automatic cow cooker. You're ready to go. All you have to do now is go up top, hold down right click with your wheat to breed up your cows, and then you can go off and do whatever else you want in your world and the cows will automatically grow up and cook and you can collect their leather and steak whenever. So, hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If it did, you can always leave a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can always subscribe and check out the rest of my channel. But as always guys, thanks for watching. Have an excellent day and see you later.